Hi guys, here we have a system of equations where you can see you have a quadratic equation and you have a linear equation. So basically there are many methods to solve this. I'm going to show you two methods. The first one is using the substitution method and the quadratic formula. So first of all, this is let this be equation 1 and this be equation 2. So from equation 2, what do we have? x minus y is equal to 5. So from here, what I'm going to do is just send y the other side. So x is equal to, I have 5 plus y. Now this has to be noted down. Now from the equation 1, what do we have? x square plus y square is equal to 13. What I'm going to do is substitute this x, the value of x in this. So I have x is equal to 5 plus y, so put it here. 5 plus y and you have the square, so put it here. Square plus y square is equal to 13. Now, as you can see, this is in the form of a plus b the whole square, which is a square plus 2ab plus b square. Yes, so we have this is our a, this is our b. So 5 square plus 2ab. So a is 5, b is y, and then plus b square. So that's y square. And then you have again a y square, which is equal to 13. Now let's solve this. 5 square is 25. 2 times 5 is 10y plus y square plus y square is 2y square is equal to 13. Now let's just rearrange the equation 2y square then we have plus 10y then we have plus 25 bring 13 this side it's negative 13 or subtract 13 on both sides one and the same. Now you have 2y square plus 10y Plus 25 minus 13 is plus 12 is equal to 0. Now, as you can see, all these are even numbers. Let's divide it by 2. So, we have y square plus 5y plus 6 is equal to 0. Now, you have a quadratic equation where we are going to use the quadratic formula. What is A? It's the coefficient of y square, 1. What's B? The coefficient of y that's 5 and c is the constant plus 6. Now let's find our discriminant that is delta which is b square minus 4ac. So b square is 5 square minus 4 times 1 times c is 6. So you have 25 minus 24 that's equal to 1. So your discriminant is 1. Now our quadratic formula, that's y is equal to, because we have the variable y here, minus b plus or minus under root of the same thing, the discriminant, b square minus 4ac. So we have already found that over 2 times a. Now what's that? Minus b is minus 5 plus or minus under root of 1 over 2 times 1. Now that's equal to minus 5 plus or minus 1 over 2. So here you have two, uh, two values for y. The first one, y1, is minus 5 plus 1 over 2. That's equal to minus 4 over 2 and that's equal to negative 2. And the second value of y is negative 5, negative 1 over 2 which is equal to negative 6 over 2, which is equal to negative 3. You have got two values of y. Just substitute back in our equation. Equation 2 x is equal to 5 plus y. Let's substitute one by one in that. The first value of y and the second value of y. So y1 is equal to negative 2 in this and y2 is equal to negative 3 in this. So what do we get? x is equal to 5 minus 2. So you have x is equal to 3. So the solution here is you have 3, x is 3, comma 
negative 2 and what about here let's substitute in this so you have x is equal to 5 minus 3 so x is equal to 5 minus 3 is 2 and you have what's the solution here it's 2 comma minus 3 solution set is 3 comma minus 2 and then you have 2 comma minus 3 that's your answer let's see how we're going to do with the second method in this method you don't need any quadratic formula nothing what i'm going to do in this is so i have x minus y equals to 5 let me take the second equation x minus y is equal to 5 and just square it easy this is in a form of a minus b the whole square so what's the formula a square plus b square minus 2ab so let me write down a is x so I have x square plus b square that's y square minus 2ab a is x and b is y is equal to 5 square is 25 now you have now you know x square plus y square is what from equation 1 it's 13 so let me write down 13 minus 2xy is equal to 25 now I want 2xy to be positive add both sides by 2xy send it the other side you have 2xy is equal to send 25 13 minus 25 so you get 2xy is equal to negative 12 now we have got this you know the formula for x plus y the whole square easy what's that x square plus y square plus 2xy is that right what is our x square plus y square from equation 1 x square plus y square is 13 so let's write it down that's 13 and what's 2xy here negative 12 so let's write it down x plus y the whole square is equal to 13 plus into minus is minus 12 13 minus 12 is 1 so what did you get x plus y the whole square is equal to 1 let's take the square root to remove the square on both sides square root and square gets cancelled so what do you have x plus y is equal to plus or minus 1 so here you have got x plus y is equal to 1 and x plus y is equal to negative 1 now you have this equation equation 2 is x minus y equals to 5 let me write it down so i can solve these two equations x minus y is equal to 5 here as well x minus y is equal to 5 now it's easy you have two linear equations add both of them plus y minus y gets cancelled 2x is equal to 5 plus 1 6 x is equal to 6 over 2 that's 3 so what's the solution here just put it back in one of the equations here x plus y equals to 1 let's put it back in that x plus y is equal to 1 so you have x is equal to 3 plus y is equal to 1 so what do we get y is equal to 1 minus 3 that's equal to negative 2 so your solution here is 3 x coordinate is 3 and y coordinate is negative 2 here let's solve for this add both of them plus y minus y cancel 2x is equal to 5 minus 1 that's 4 so x is equal to 4 divided by 2 that's equal to 2 you've got the value of x as 2 let's substitute in one of the equations here x plus y is equal to negative 1 so 2 plus y is equal to negative 1 so y is equal to negative 1 negative 2 negative 1 negative 2 is negative 3 so you have got x coordinate as 2 and y as negative 3 so what's the solution set for this one again the same thing 3 comma minus 2 and 2 comma minus 3 so this is how you can use the second method okay so what do you think which method is easy please let me know in the comments and if you have any other suggestions write it down Thank you so much for joining. Bye-bye. Take care.